top of a mountain on a strip job and uh, on an unreclaimed strip mine in Floyd County. And my great grandpa bought it in the 30s. I've owned it since probably 2014, 13, 14. This, they've mined all the coal, pushed all the dirt over the hill, never done another reclamation. They've never done, you know, nothing by law what they're supposed to have done. Property. I got a cousin that owns this in here. My property's on the other side of there. They were supposed to tuck the top of this mountain off like I was telling you. They were going to put it over in this holler, but they never did do it, you know. James River had ended up with it, and they were big companies, and I thought they would uh, actually would uh, do the reclamation and put it back right, and, and you know, they never done what they were supposed to have done. They filed bankruptcy, and Revelation was supposed to have done the reclamation, and but uh, they never done nothing. Now you've got high walls, you know, Nothing, nothing, you can't use it for nothing now. But uh, if it's done right, uh, you've got a lot of good outcomes, you know, and you've got a lot of good property when it's done. But you've got some people, that their, their intentions have not, they're, they're not gonna put it back no way. You know, their, their intentions is making the money and they're leaving. You know, and this is just not the only place that they do it. They've done it all over Kentucky, West Virginia, and Virginia. And the laws are set up for them to do it. Your politicians and everything are just letting a lot of this stuff go on. Because a lot of this stuff, they let these co-operators do whatever they want. And, uh, and the laws, if you've got a good lawyer and a good CPA and enough money, you can do anything you want. You know, and that's just the way it is. And the little man is just, you, you know, you're nothing. I just worry about, you know, the night, you know, I've, had, I've got some places that they rent off here off of me. And people send me pictures that rents off of me of a night, 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. People on four wheelers back on top of this mountain, you can see their lights. I just worry about somebody falling off one of these high walls or Every ground underneath these high walls and rock falling off and killing them, and you can put up no trespassing signs. They tear them down, and you can't block the roads because they just keep right on coming. They'll just go around rocks with them four wheelers. You, you know, the landowner just he ain't gonna ride or nothing. You ain't got nothing. You're just sitting here paying taxes on something that ain't worth uh, having. There needs to be some somebody say after you go a couple thousand feet, hey, you ain't gonna get on your feet. You know, you don't need to go seven mile around the hill and walk off and leave it, and then the state's got to take care of it and the taxpayers when you take all of your money and go down there in the Bahamas and stay. I want to know who's, who's liable if somebody runs over that high wall on a four wheeler and gets killed. Or if a rock falls off that high wall and hits somebody in the side of the head and kills them, who's liable for it? This stuff needs to be took care of and, uh, before somebody gets killed, you know.